good afternoon and welcome to another webinar. My name is Dr. Ken Stewart and thank you for connecting with us once again. This presentation is the last installment of Where's the Beef? And before I get started, I want to just make an announcement in regards to our YouTube channel called Epic Health Education. Feel free check us on um, check us out you can you, you can also review view our other webinars but also we we posted our last two where's the beef um webinars so feel free to if you want to go back and get a jump start or not a jump start but go back and review or look at the first two that would be great um and then you'll be up to date so let's get started. Number seven, nuts. One ounce of cashews, pistachios, or almonds give you five to six grams of protein. Substituting your usual afternoon snack with a handful of nuts can be a great way to squeeze more protein into your diet. No prep required. If nuts aren't really your thing, try nut butter. They typically provide similar nutritional benefits as raw nuts. Some advice for picking out a nut butter. Look for brands with as few ingredients as possible. Just nuts and maybe salt. Skip the ones with hydrogenated oils or lots of added sugar. So just be mindful of that. Nuts. Then you have Ezekiel bread. Now before I say anything about this bread, when you do get this bread, it, I believe it's best when you consume it after it is toasted. But in any event, this kind of bread is made of whole grains legumes like barley, soy, wheat, and millet. Two slices can contain up to eight grams of protein. The combination of the different grains and legumes make Ezekiel bread the perfect protein source. So Ezekiel bread, eight grams of protein for every two slices you consume. Number nine, spirulina. This is a type of blue-green algae which gained popularity as a favorite as a part of the vegan diet, as a favorite part of a vegan diet. Potted forms of spirulina are now easily available and are added to smoothies, granola bars, soups, and salad. One tablespoon contains a whopping 7 grams of protein one tablespoon. It is also rich in antioxidants, vitamin B, iron, and copper. Number 10, chia seeds. Chia seeds are used in puddings and jams as they have the ability to absorb water and form a gel-like texture. They are also used as a vegan substitute for egg and baking. Raw chia seeds can also be used in smoothies, yogurts, and salads. Two tablespoons have four grams of protein. They are also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, iron, and selenium. So there you have it. Nuts, Ezekiel bread, spirulina, and chia seeds. These are four good protein alternatives. But then you also have, we spoke about last week or session two, nuts, beans, edamame, and green beans. And then going back to our first session, we spoke about lentils, hard-boiled eggs, quinoa, 
and those are at least 10 options you can consider as you go through the store to get meat alternatives or protein options to help you with your protein. I look forward to connecting with you next week. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.